Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. The priestess of the goblins is dead, and we are systematically, room by room, clearing out this camp. Not really on purpose, because our ultimate objective is to find the Night Song weapon, which is somewhere underneath uh, the goblin camp. So we're not necessarily trying to kill the goblins, but of course, they're somewhat unhappy with us after we, um, well, wiped them out at the druid camp when they came and attacked us in an epic Helm's Deep style confrontation. In. What I want to do before we continue to explore though is to speak with dead. We've got a couple corpses here. Now this is actually going to be I think a somewhat helpful use of the disguise self spell. Um, I have a feeling that they're not going to want to talk to me after well we killed them. So I'm going to disguise myself as a fellow um, goblin, if I can do so. Let's see. A gnome, a halfling. Uh, actually, I don't know if I can do goblin. A dragonborn, a drow. Ooh, I'll do a drow. I'll do a female drow. There we go. Uh, oh, I did dwarf accidentally. Let's change it up. Female drow. That's more like it. Cool. All right, so let's first of all talk to Torturer Spike. Let's go ahead and cast uh, Speak with Dead. Honestly, we just look we look the same except our skin's a different color. <laughs> Not much has really changed. Lifelessly. Because if we were to keep our current, um, tell me about your life. That's interesting. If we were to keep our current form, I don't think they would answer our questions. Or they're un under no obligation to answer our questions, honestly, if we take have the form of their killer. Um, who killed you? Well, it was me. Um, are there any valuables hidden nearby? Kids were playing. Okay. Tell me about the Absolute. Speaks through true souls. Scour the land. Find weapon. Hmm. Uh, what was your purpose? Gold. Blood. Absolute blessing. That's not very specific. Um, tell me about your life. Sure. Crush. Smash. Burn. Whips, scream, give pain, get answer. Yeah, makes sense as a torturer. Um, <laughs> I just want to know what he's going to say. I know that I killed him, but who killed you? Warrior. Had absolute touch. The corpse does not stir. It will answer no more questions. Cool. Uh, now let's talk to Priestess Gut. Let's cast Speak of Dead. It's awesome being able to cast this at will, by the way. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay. Uh, where do you keep your valuables? Chapel. Okay. Um, what was your purpose? Absolute okay. Who is the absolute? Everything. Everyone. Interesting. So it seems like they, even they, don't really know. Like they've been thoroughly bamboozled by whoever's behind all of this. Um, where are you from? My mother's sorry. Oh, uh, gross. I, I didn't, didn't need to know that. Um, who killed you? <laughs> yep. That's me. I resemble that remark. Cool. All right. Um, 
You know, we'll keep this disguise on for a little bit longer, I guess. Oh, and there's another, um, another person up here that we have not yet looted. Cool. We'll send this all to Carlac to uh, sell later. Cool. All right, everybody join back up. Uh, silver glass, I'll take that for sure. And maybe explore some of these uh, rooms. Ooh, a bunch of stuff that we would be stealing. Obviously, they don't need it anymore because they're all dead. Uh, we'll have Carlac up. pick up the rest of the stuff. Armor, shield, boots, shield, dagger. Should sell for a decent amount of change. Alright, let's save real quick and then we'll clear these rooms out one by one. Anyone in here? Whoa, look at all of these smoke powder barrels. I actually do want to take a few of these with me. Um, Oh, I lost Detect Thoughts by casting that. Whoops. Alright, heavy chest. Sure, I'll open this. Uh, lockpick. Ooh, this is going to be somewhat tough. DC 18. Um, if I roll a 4, uh, one short. That's fine. We have we have plenty of thieves tools. We are not hurting for that. We're just going to keep keep trying. 14. Okay. I could use lucky, but I want to save it for something better. Man, I'm just having the worst luck. 17, one short again. Come on. There we go. 23. Finally. Hopefully it's worth it. 245 gold? Uh, I mean, I guess. Uh, some arrows. Nice. Some daggers we'll send to Carlac. Ooh. Hello. Hello, hello. We'll check this out for sure. A rocky crevasse. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Oh, okay. Well... If we were a, uh, if we were a dru druid, we could shape change and maybe fit inside there. Uh, smoke powder barrel. You know what? I'm going to have Carlac pick up a couple of these. Pick up that one. Oh, she's encumbered now. Let's see. Maybe if everybody has a, um, has a barrel. How much do these weigh? 52 pounds, huh? We'll send one to Will, maybe? Yeah, okay. And then Gail, can you pick up a barrel as well, or are you going to be encumbered? Nope, you're fine, actually. Can't cool. So let's check everybody's inventory. Uh, Will could actually easily take another one. Will could easily take another one. So that's, I, I will actually have him go ahead and steal this one as well. All right. If we need a bunch of explosives, we know where to come. That's very exciting, actually. Bunch of swords. Another crossbow. Another smoke powder barrel. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man. Ah, I wish. Ooh, can we send these to camp? From our inventory? We could, but then we wouldn't have them to use for our fight. So, actually, maybe not. Uh, alright. Were there any other crates we needed to check? I think we're pretty much good here. If not over, then through. Oh, almost forgot this Looking mace. Ahead. Hold up. Pick that up. No one stopped me yet. And then we'll check out this room right here. Let's save again. throw this light on. Uh, cool. Priestess's key. Yep, makes sense. What kind of stuff do we have in here? A ladle. 
Let's cast light here to see a little bit better. How much farther can I go? Nothing much here. Incense, mortar, and pestle. Man, a whole lot of nothing for somebody who's supposed to be this big, super powerful priestess. She sure doesn't have a whole lot. I would settle just for like a scroll of something. You know, it doesn't have to be super fancy. Just keep it simple. You know. Ooh, now this looks like it's going down. Oh, look at this guy over here. Can I talk to him from here? Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the one in prison. They'll turn on you soon enough. Then you'll be wishing you was in a cage. Well, most of them are dead, you'll so end up I highly being doubt supper it. For the spiders. Or the wargs. Actually, I've killed both of both spiders and wargs. I can handle myself. If you had half a brain, you wouldn't be mucking around in here at all. They've all gone bar me. Had their heads turned from the old ways by some upstart god. Oh, I get it. He hasn't bought into the absolute. Uh, absolute other gods seem to love her. They like feasting, fighting, and fornicating. Who doesn't? Absolute gives them that. Gotta know your place in the world, though. McLubbyet's kept us in line. That's what a god's supposed to do. You're not wrong. Do you need help getting out of there? You think this is fun? No, I guess not. Okay. Silver tray. I'll send that to... Yeah, I'll, I'll pick that up. Could be worth something. Oh, hello. Going to a brand new area. Ooh, a defiled temple. Yeah, this is probably where we're supposed to uh, supposed to be. Ooh, Polma, bodyguard of the high priestess. Ooh, look at this guy. All right, I guess we'll go and talk to him. Maybe. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. Try to convince him you belong here for sure. Uh, persuasions plus seven. Deceptions plus ten. Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. For sure. Ooh, DC 22. Um, oh, we can customize our dice? Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, um, the dragon one's pretty cool. Maybe we'll roll with that one for a while. DC 22, huh? How many luck points do I have? I wish I could... I wish I knew. And roll with advantage. So I'm getting a plus 10, so I just need to roll a 12 or higher. I think I'll do that. Nice! Hey, good thing we rolled with advantage. So that's 28. Beautiful. You've been granted free passage. What you do with that privilege is up to you. That's too good. Alright, well, all this stuff is... Not up for grabs, apparently. I just... The reason I did that is I didn't want to continue to... Uh, ooh, hello. I did not want to... Um, continue to expend further resources, you know? It's like if there's a way for us to avoid a fight. Like, I'm not necessarily coming here trying to pick a fight. I just... I want to get the... Uh, achieve the objective. And then keep moving on, you know? There's something up here. Kind of hard to see. Uh, no, I guess. Well, maybe over here. I guess if I could teleport Misty Step, that would be one thing. 
But look at those eyes up there. You see that that symbol there? Kind of wild. Let's turn on some lights in here, please. It's a little tough to see. I think we are alone at the moment, from what I can tell. So, Which makes sense that this is a forbidden area, so it wouldn't exactly be full of people. Moons and stars. Just like that poem said. Moons and stars. Huh. Let's turn this on so that we've got plenty of um, light to... I guess we've got a puzzle to solve, huh? We've got more silver plates over here. Wow, everybody's failing on everything. On all these perception checks. That might be worth a look. What might be worth a look? Again, I really wish that it called out more explicitly what it was that uh, people notice with their successful perception checks, you know? Anything here that I'm missing? The bench? Maybe sitting on the bench? that do anything? No. Oh, there's a lever over here. Oh, okay. Can I lockpick it? DC 15. I'll take that guidance. Nice. Ooh, 25. Wow. Hey, that's helpful. Um, so what did enter the secret passage? We solved a puzzle in the goblin camp revealing, oh, <laughs> we didn't really solve a puzzle. We just lock picked our way to success, which is even better in some ways. Cool, 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 cool. Logbook of Sendings. Ooh, let's read this. Marked as reference material for the Temple Archive, this logbook contains transcripts of magical sendings from the temple to the depths below. This record seems to be an exchange dating from near the temple's foundation. Jerus, enough foolishness. A new temple with settlers to guide. And you'd rather scrabble in the dark below? We're clerics of Saluna. Act like it. Oh, and if this was a record of magical sendings, there are... Um, limited to 25 words or less, I believe, each message. Morna, the lady lights the way. What is this underdark, but a path her light hasn't touched yet? Come, we can debate theology in the new chapel. New chapel? Those materials were meant for the temple proper, not your playground town down there. What am I to tell the House of the Moon? Tell them to start packing. There are caverns down here to dwarf the inner cathedral. The builders are almost done, and so we go deeper. Enough, Initiate. The Underdark is no place for games. Those are novices with you, not Silver Stars. Return immediately. Initiate, don't ignore me. I know you took ample components for ascending. Respond. Jerus, respond. M. Fortified what we can, but wards won't last. Seal the tunnel and do not follow. You were right. This place belongs to them. Jerus, hold fast. Whatever it is, I'm sending reinforcements. Just hold on. No. No more death. Ordered novices to collapse tunnel. You'd be proud of them. Forgive me. We only meant to spread her light. That's ominous. So they came down here excavating trying to build a bigger temple. Ooh, hello. That is a very long ladder. And in the process of excavating, they uncovered something sinister in the dark.
That's a long way down. Just when I was getting used to the sky again. Fear not, Karlak. Sun, moon, and stars will still be there, waiting for us. Meanwhile, this place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? No book or painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. But perhaps our stories might, when we return to the surface. Huh. I kind of wish I had, um... Shadow Heart here, because isn't this... This would be her area of expertise, wouldn't it? All of this, um... All of this religious type, um... Knowledge. C twenty. Or this might be tough. Ooh, yikes! Not amazing. Try again. Twenty two. Hey, second try. I like it. Not too shabby. Oh, and a second, second uh, lock picking challenge twice in a row, huh? All right, DC fifteen, got it exactly. What do we have here? Ooh, helmet of smiting. When you apply a condition with one of your smite spells, you gain temporary hit points. So this is for um, smiting. That's a paladin thing, right? I believe. Okay, so that's not necessary, which makes sense because this is a place. Ooh, what are people perceiving? This is a place where um, the religious. That might be where. Oh, hello. Where the religious followers come. Nice, a treasure trove. The religious followers of um, Saluna, I guess, right? Oh, and we discovered a waypoint down there. That's nice. A trap. Time to dance. Ooh, good thing somebody saw that before I tried to open it. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh, yikes. Not good. Let's try again with our thieves tools. There we go. We got it. Phew. Okay. Uh, all right. We're rolling again. Nice. Animal speaking, potion of healing, and luminous armor. When the wearer deals radiant damage, they cause a radiant shockwave. An armor class of 15. I don't know if anybody in our party actually wears this type of armor. At least, I mean, as far as the people we have right here. Because I can only wear light. Will can only wear light. Gale wears no armor. And <laughs> Karlak wears no armor. So, cool. We'll have to reserve that for some of our other uh, party members. All right, let's head down and see if we can figure out. I mean, there's nobody in here, which is very strange. It clearly feels like in a like a battle arena of some kind. Flail, a pike, a hammer. Ooh, hello. Scroll of Ray of Sickness. I'll take that for sure. Rapier and a warhammer. I think our folks are getting a little bit um, maxed out on their capacity, so we'll have to pump the brakes on that. All right, lever to open the gate, I guess. Uh oh! Whoa, whoa! What exactly is going on here? Minotaur. Uh, and some statues. We're fighting the Minotaur, or what? Huh. So we've got to be careful of the statues out here who... 
can hit, I guess. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. We'll just double Eldritch Blast him back so that the statues can finish him off, I assume. Light on my and then feet. same thing here. How much? He's got seven health. I'm talking. We'll do Vicious Mockery. For you, oh, he saved on. And then Karlac. We'll just pop a shot off at him. Disadvantage. Shoot again. Missed. That's fine. Didn't expect too much. Alright, and turn. See what he decides to do. Dash. Whew. Yeah, he's a big he's a big guy for sure. Uh, we'll just firebolt. It's fine. I wish we could talk to him. I, I kind of don't want to kill him right now. You know. Uh, we'll just do a standard rapier attack. <laughs> Huh. Someone's laid out the unwelcome mat. Yeah, no kidding. Again, I didn't really want to kill him. If he was would have given me a chance to talk, I would have gladly taken the offer. Now, where are the statues that... Whoa, look at this whole area. This is like Willy Wonka's factory or something. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff to explore. All right, nothing up here. Let's look at this room with this teleport um, glyph. Faded logbook. We should read that for sure. Signs of life near the outpost. Intelligent, clearly trying to hide. Still can't find the mysterious shapes. They know how to cover their tracks, possibly drow. Led them south. Rumors of a spectator there. Let the Underdark solve its own problems. No sightings, no sightings. Minth saw statues down south shaped like drow. Spectators shouldn't do that. Either way, that's one less problem to worry about. So this is a... Um, kind of an outpost, I guess. For the Guardians of Saluna. And so they're like, well, no need to venture out there. Because there's weird, creepy statues that will presumably seek to... Shoot you. Most of this logbook is left empty. The last one reads, I was wrong. Should have paid more attention to the drow sightings. Should have known they were only a prelude. Stupid to think we had outsmarted them. This will be my last entry. Mintha will keep the records from now on. Oh, man. So are we going to have to go and destroy these statues? Is that is that the deal? Are they just going to shoot at anything and everyone that ventures go. out? Because if so, that's somewhat problematic for us. Uh, let's save real quick. I guess we'll see. Are these the statues here? Ooh. Yep. Whoa, everybody get out of there. Whoa, holy cow. We've saved me. I cannot take wow, more. we just got absolutely blasted by those. Huh. Okay, well. I almost feel like we need to take a short rest here. <laughs> Which we do, we have that. We'll do that. Gale got wrecked, though. And... Yeah. All right, Gail. Well, uh, let me go ahead and heal up our party before we get too much further, and then uh, I'll bring you back because I'm going to do the old throw a uh, throw a healing potion at them to heal multiple of them at once trick. So let me do that real quick. Okay, we are all healed up. Um. Interesting. So what's this bowl over here? Is this anything? We've got some... What are these? Target dummies? Or... Yeah, makeshift training dummy. 
There's a moonstone up here. I wonder if this is kind of like a power conduit. Like maybe it's going down here through the floor and then up here and powering these statues. I wonder if there's a way to turn it off. Like is there a lever or a iron candelabrum? Not seeing any lever around here. I wonder what would happen if we actually tried to shoot it. <laughs> this is probably a terrible idea. But what if we shot at the stone? Swift as my feet can carry. And Oh, I think the statues have powered down, maybe. Have they? Actually, yes. Cool. Alright. Pass on that skeleton. Uh, nice. Alright, we're actually on our way. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff around here. Wow. Ancient Cellul uh, Cellunite Journal. Pass on that. I will read the journal, though. Where did that go? Uh, let's see, let's see. Sort by latest. I can't sleep without the moon and stars. As a child, I prayed to them before I ever knew Saluna's name. Is that blasphemy? When I walk the battlements, the only light I see is the glow of their eyes, out there, waiting. I know the High Initiate is making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Mood Maiden Fair, lend us your light to guide us home in the dark of night, to keep us on the path of right, ever burning, ever... The last line of the prayer succumbs to blurring as if stained by something wet. Like blood, perhaps. Staff of the Moon Maiden, ooh. That seems like that could be good. Let's take a look. Uh, actually, surprisingly not. Surprisingly not. I thought it would be some sort of cool magic item, but it's just uh, just a normal normal quarterstaff. Chasm Creeper. Mm, what's that? Another rocky crevice that I can't fit into. <laughs> I'm glad that they give plenty of opportunities for druids to shine, though. Like, it's fun. It's fun to turn into a mouse or something, you know, and shapeshift and actually have it pay off. So, I'm okay with that. Don't give up, skeleton. Uh, alright. This journal. The high initiate, so he was the he was the boss around here, I believe. It always felt vainglorious to think my deeds worthy of a personal journal. But as I watch the drow mass outside our gate, I realize my arrogance is already of a far costlier sort. I see no harm in tipping the scales a little further. Not for me, but for those who followed me down into the dark. They deserve to be remembered. Initiate Norn Ramus, lost in the deep tunnels as we fell back from the drow. Initiate Thulk of the Northern Wastes, grazed by an arrow and succumbed to poison. Initiate Bree Be Brecca, who stood against a drider with only her mason's hammer. And initiates they are, the entire company, for they have seen and suffered too much to be called novices. We've collapsed the tunnel behind and have made it ready to open the gate. Perhaps we can carve a path through. And if not, I enclosed a list of names. Let the annals show that whatever their end, the cause was the same. One high initiate Jarus wished to stamp his name in the history of his church. He sought to forge a path through the darkness, not realizing there are some places the light was never meant to touch. He was a fool. Man, it's really cool reading these last stand type of um, accounts, I guess. Really sad, too. You know, because I assume, I, generally speaking, I believe the Salunites are just, you know, they are, they're here, they're usually here for the right reasons, you know. They're, they just want to, um, to help. So, sad that they met such a tragic end.
Viridian crystal. I don't know what that is. Is that another um, crafting? Oh, salts of Viridian, right. And there's so much to explore around here. Whoa. Gods, what's happening? What was that? Did I do that? Is it me walking that's causing? These fungal spores are everywhere. Ooh. Are they Do I need to avoid the fungus? I assume I do, right? Like I don't want to be poisoned. Okay, I'm going to take a risk. Let's move. And just walk here. More are coming. What in the nine hells is that? They're coming. They're coming. Uh, tell me I'm not imagining it. It said they're coming. They are coming. You are coming. Oh, me, we. We are the ones that are coming. Uh-oh. Huh. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. Oh, it's Will and, um, and us. Timusks, known to cause confusion. Let's not get too close. Timusks? What, is that what he said? Timusks, known to cause confusion. Where? Which? What? What was he looking at when he said that? Was it this these plants down here? Or what? Nightlight. Well, that's cool. Falar Aluve. That seems like a cool sword. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Well, I look like a drow. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. This feels holy. Consider what the appropriate ritual might be. Sure, I'll do that. Hmm, DC 15 might be a little tough. Yeah, fail. Oh, one short. I could use my inspiration. I don't you think I will. can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. Hmm. Is there anybody who has better religion uh, than me? I've got plus one to religion. Gale has plus four. Maybe I'll have him take a look at the sword. A slender drow blade impales the stone before Yeah, I'll, I'll give him... Keeping a silent vigil. I'll do guidance. I could give him a bardic inspiration. Actually, you know what? I will. I'll give him a bardic inspiration just to make sure we succeed on this. Nice. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistray. Blood can only be honored with blood. Oh. Sure. Gale, our wizard, will take two damage of... or whatever. He's already... <laughs> inscribed on the blade he's already flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging Whoa. in the air in silent offering. That's awesome. Valar Aluve. Let's read it. Weapon enchantment. Plus one. Performance plus one. Valar Aluve melody. Huh. The drow inscription on this blade appears to have been recently carved. It reads to, Though I have to leave you, I will dance forever in Elias Trey's light. Let's see. Maybe we send this to Karlak. And see if she's oh, strong nice. enough to, um, well, she is strong enough, obviously. If, how the damage compares. Uh, it's not quite as good as the Sword of Justice from Tyr. Not quite as good. But still super cool, nonetheless. Alright, a helmet. Swarming Toadstool.
This is pretty wild. Whoa. Bullet. Best brace for a vicious battle. Bullet? What is what is a bull what does that mean? I guess we'll explore this upper level first. I mean, they haven't... Uh, nobody's aggroed us yet. Right? So... Oh, here we go. Two Minotaurs. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Is this like a whole society of Minotaurs that we're running into? Ooh, because if so... <laughs> All right, well, we've got a chasm here, so I have a feeling that Will is going to be extremely helpful in this fight. But we need to let the Minotaur come to us to some extent. Let's do um, Vicious Mockery. Death becomes you. Saves, okay, okay. We'll back up a little bit. We'll go ahead and Eldritch Blast twice. Okay, that's fine. We'll move up slightly to be in proper position. Karlak, oh, what do we want to do with you? Um, can you get a shot off? Not really. This is pretty bad positioning. I'm just going to move her up to also be in the front. Make sure she has her sword. And... Yeah, that's it. Honestly, there's not much we can do while they're so far away. Can I do... an... Firebolt? No. Not even. Okay, well... This will just be a positioning turn, I guess. Fortunately, he used his action to dash. Reckless Roar. So he's reckless attacking. Barbarian style. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, Will... Let's do double Eldritch Blast on this guy. Whoa! 100 damage. <laughs> Yeah, let's not fall down there if we can help it. Great job, Will. He just trivializes encounters. So well. So, so well. Survival is all that matters. All right, let's do Vicious Mockery. Sharp Save. As a pig's <laughs> Sharp as a pig's testicle. <gasps> Got away with words. All right, Karlak. Let's do Reckless. And again. Critical miss. My goodness. I could potentially protect myself with this. What is my AC currently for her? Um, AC 11. She's got... Oof. Terrible AC. Could also do this pommel strike. Let's try that, actually. Daze. That's good. Which means he has no reactions. Let's come over here on this side, I guess. Gale, let's get out of his range as best as we can. And we'll just firebolt. Opportunity attack for sure. Another 12 damage. Ooh, wow. All right. You know what we're about to do. Finding my way. Say it with me, folks. L. Dritch. Plus. Oh, he saved on his strength saving throw. Well, it was a good idea. We'll try. We'll try pushing him off. Why not? 
Oh, too heavy to shove. Whoops. I regret that immediately. It comes easy these days. I regret that immediately. Well, let's go ahead and do Vicious Mockery again. Very cool. Very cool. Let's shift around here to the side and turn. Uh, Karlak will do Reckless Attack. We'll do it again. Ooh, two damage. That's all we need. Too heavy to shove, right? Yeah. Even for her. All right, Gale. Really need this one from you. I could just use a magic missile and be done with it. But I'm tempted. What are my chances? 75%. What are the chances that this lands? Let's do it. Cool. And saved ourselves a nice little spell slot. Took zero damage in that encounter. That's what you like to see. Take that. Take that. Nice. Uh, let's make sure we save so we get credit for our hard work. And we should go and loot the corpses down here, of course. Ooh, what just happened? Oh no, Will, come back! Alright, everybody get out of here. <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job, guys. No one back home will ever believe this. Oh, I see. So we need to attack those. To mask spore juice is down there. Are that will those be there permanently? No, they won't. Okay, cool. So we just need to watch out for those um, those discs, I guess. All right, let's stay together, actually. No hope of clearing this what? without a shovel. Don't I have a shovel? What happened to my shovel, man? Oh no, what happened to my shovel? This is This is this is problematic. Anyone have a shovel? No hope of clearing this without a shovel. You have a shovel? Fancy getting my hands dirty. I need a shovel. Oh, fancy getting my no, I think Lazel has our shovels. Shovel. Damn. Okay, well, if we ever come back here, we'll know <laughs> that we need to come and clear this mound. Very well. A bit unfortunate, but oh well. Whoa. We're getting warned, clearly. All this knockdown means that something is happening. Amulet of the Unworthy grants resistance to slashing and a vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. Resistance to slashing, vulnerability to bludgeon. Eh. Pass. Good candidate to sell. What do we have down here? We for sh this for sure looks like a battle arena. Which means we want to destroy these before we get close. Torch stock. I wonder what those do. Let's try shooting one. Oh, wow. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, let's destroy those for sure. I mean, super cool environmental damage, but if we're going to have a confrontation. The spores confuse the senses. Not sure what the other mushrooms are. It's fine. We don't have to know what they are. We just have to know to avoid them. Cool. Ooh, scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. Scroll of shatter. I'll absolutely take those.
Those will be helpful for Gale to uh, read up on. Restless Mechanoid. Okay, they're not necessarily hostile, right? Per se, let's save, just in case they are. <laughs> they haven't seen us yet. I guess we should go say hello. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. Sounds you like see Optimus Prime. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, focus on your parasite and connect with the Sovereign. Tell the truth of the parasite. You seek safe passage and search for treatment. I am a traveler seeking adventure. Drow. I could, since I am disguised as a drow, I could use that to my advantage. Intimidation... Insight persuasion. So, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I'm in, kind of inclined to tell the truth. Only seek safe passage and search for treatment. Uh, sure. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then well, it's the true. Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Sure. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. Yeah. The Sovereign expects Whoa, you. Whoa, that's a really cool design. Absolutely. I mean, you don't have to persuade me. I, I want to come. Ebon Lake Grotto. Wow, look at these guys. Very cool. Mechanoid. Mushrooms that they do not want us to pick. Okay. They d <laughs> That's so funny. Because they're mushroom people, so they don't want us to pick their mushrooms. I get it. I wouldn't want them to pick humans. But they don't care about money, <laughs> so I can, I can uh, pick up this pouch. Oh, but there's nothing in it. Huh? What happened here? Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Man, I love the hive mind aspect. Okay. Uh, let's check our map. Where exactly are we supposed to go? From here. Um. Huh. I guess we'll go along this path. Is this correct? Spicy pork sausage. Oh man, this is a... Oh, saved against the spores. Oh look, a, a human. Well, that's something I did not expect. And a, uh, a deep, deep rota. Want master back. He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. A drow? Play nice, or these shrooms will be on you in a flash. Now, doubt you'd care to notice, but you didn't see a dwarf on your travels, did you? Balin's his name. Um... I don't think so. Can you describe Bald, him? Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. No, I don't think we have. Right. Never mind. 
I'll keep an eye out. Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Oh, okay. Are you guys married or something? My useless husband. <laughs> I thought Sent so. Him for an you errand. spoke about him it's like that. He's made a mess of it. Yeah. Alright. Let's engage in commerce. Oh, she is very rich, which is good because I have a bunch of useless junk that I need to sell to her. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, this is always somewhat uh, tedious and takes a while, and I don't want you to have to sit through all of it. And I'll just let you know what our, the highlights of our purchases are. So just give me a quick minute. Okay, so the highlights of our purchases. We have uh, various elixirs, some smoke powder bombs, a few different alchemical ingredients, which seems somewhat rare. I thought it would be good to stock up on some of those. Um, we've got this ring, which helps, helps us deal extra acid damage, a ring of jumping, and this one that I'm most excited about, something that lets you cast, it looks like, healing word and mass healing word <laughs> at will. Seems like it'll trivialize healing after encounters, which is huge for us, so we don't have to go through our precious um, healing potions. So we will happily make that exchange and with that uh, ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and call it here we've got a weird um, a weird mushroom well look at this guy a hooks horror it's like a it's like a dinosaur mushroom guy that's so cool we've got a um, a Lord of the Mushrooms to find and meet. I can't wait to see what this guy's... Um oh, there he is right there. The Sovereign. The Monarch. Can't wait to see what he has to say to us. But we'll, we'll save that for next time. So thanks so much for watching. I had no idea this is where <laughs> we'd end up. But I'm very excited to be here. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.